What's going on, you guys? Lit Man Tuck is coming back at you with another book review, man. And this is the last one that I'm going to do on the uh, the Gideon series for Eric Jerome Dickey. Dickey. This one is called Resurrecting Midnight. And I'm going to read the description real quick and talk a little bit about it. The New York Times bestselling author does it again in a fierce new novel of seduction, intrigue, and betrayal. Gideon, a hired gun, trusts no one. But when his former lover resurfaces in the need of his skills, Gideon accepts. The assignment leads to Argentina and a team of international mercenaries who will maim, kill, and torture to achieve victory. One of them has a connection to Gideon that neither assassin is aware of, a secret link that reaches into Gideon's past and plunges him to a double cross, so explosive that no one will make it out unscarred. So yeah, this one is off the chain, man. More excitement, man. It ramps up. And yeah, like they said, his ex-lover comes and asks for his help. And he was trying to get over that girl. He can't get over that girl, though. But now... He has to do it. He's sucked into this uh, new new adventure. Well, it's not a new adventure. It's a continuation of the adventure. But then uh, the double cross, the, the assassin that is linked to him, all that stuff, man. I'm telling you. Now, there is another book after this in the series. But for me, it's the last book that I did. At the time, it was the last book. And uh, I'm not going to go all the way back. Maybe one day in the future, I will go back and read the last book and do a review on it. But that will be a wow because there's lots of other books in store. But this is a really good series, man. If you're into African-American novels, man, check out Eric Jerome Dickey. This is a great series. And he has some other great series, like some standalones, like Milk and My Coffee, um, some, some really fun ones and, and all that good stuff. But that's all I got for this one, man. I will see you on the next one.